special presentation that we're going to make tonight. We've got awards. So here we go. For the best bar show on TV, <laughs> it's always sunny in Philadelphia. And the first award tonight <clears throat> goes to Mr. John Landgraf. Come on up here, John. And now to Caitlin Olson. Caitlin, please come up to receive your award. It blows me away to look at this and go, Sunny 100th episode. And on the one hand, I'm like, how have we not done more? <laughs> Doing this show for so long. It should be 200 episodes, but, you know. <laughs> You can't believe how lucky it is to be an executive and have people this talented walk in your door a month or two after you start in your job. Before FX got involved, before it was a show, they did two 30-minute pilots that, that they wrote together, and, and they were funny as shit, and everybody realized it. There's, there's, a, there's, a, there's a bulge in there. That's a penis. Yeah, that's a bulge, a bulge of a, a big penis in it. In it. It's a man. It's a man, Rob. I'm the only one up there who doesn't look like they got any older. You know, they, I mean, like, God, did they get so fucking old. And this week, especially, everybody worked their, really worked their asses off doing this uh, crazy wire shit that we were doing. Three, two, one, go! Oh, oh. Yes. Got it. Really. Cut. That was the motivation for designing this set. Uh, it was really about about Rob's fantasy, based upon the stunts and the Yakuza and the fight sequences and everything else. For a TV show, it is an epic fight. I mean, we went inside the fight for reactions, for, for punches, for kicks, for, um, you know, all these things where normally we would cover the shot just, just wide. We wouldn't be able to get those inserts, but we've never done a fight this large and this long. We would normally have an actor for a couple months uh, training him. Rob had a day. He did an amazing job. He picked it up ridiculously fast. We had everything from wire gags, uh, a lot of flying, a lot of, a lot of running rigs. A portion of the ceiling itself, actually behind one of the panels, was a truss with cable on it. And it carries the actor from one side of the set all the way down this aisleway. And the man who he hits then crashes into this freezer. Would this have been possible in season one? I don't think they would have done this in season one because we hadn't developed all the backstory to create this kind of story to begin with. What we did for Sweet Pea's character, though, uh, and stuff that never made it, I, I we had an interview with uh, uh, on a set that was sort of like Oprah. <laughs> Isn't that great? <laughs> well, 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 don't get me. I'm never going to get a chance to really have this speech be real uh, I'm coming to terms with after nine years so I'll just I'll you I'll do it now this is great because I get to do this now so thank you I want to thank Abby because I feel like my hair looks really good tonight um, first and foremost this is awesome because there's every single one of you are still here we come back season after season and it's like it's like you click right back together and you get along and it's wonderful really I mean I think we're paid to do it sometimes it's kind of funny I'm very appreciative to you guys for being so great to me the whole time um, and I feel like you didn't really have to be and it was it, <laughs> now you do it's fun I mean this is the best job in television don't let anyone tell you anything different when I got hired I felt like I won a contest because I, 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 this is one of my, probably my favorite show on television. Here they are hiring me to direct it. So I think most people who work on the show feel like we, you know, we work on so many things that aren't inspired and aren't, at the end of the day, just funny. I mean, we sit behind the monitor and laugh. So Charlie! <laughs> you know, it's just a family. You want to come back and hang out with your family for two months out of the year and laugh every day. But if you look like, you know, electricians and camera people and all that stuff, you know, sometimes they just don't talk to you. I mean, they just walk right on by you and not even say hi. But this crew is totally different. I mean, everybody says hi and, you know, you feel comfortable at home here. I was driving Russell, my son, around in a golf cart today and we're, we're and I was going by and I was saying, oh, hi, Val. Oh, hey, Biscuit. 
you know, hey, Peter. And, and it's funny, I was thinking he's too young to put this thought in his head, but I was thinking, wow, to him, it must seem like dad works with this big giant family that he doesn't know about. And, uh, and the truth is that, you know, I, that we have, and we haven't really taken any time to sort of stop and look back on it all. So it's, uh, it's just nice to do that. I see lots of writing, producing. I think Charlie's a movie star. You know, all good things. But hopefully they can wrangle this group of people together because they certainly capture some synergy here that is, uh, is worth continuing on. Um, so uh, we get a lot of credit for this show. Um, but the truth is, as everybody that is in here right now knows, that uh, it doesn't happen without everybody that's in this room. So um, I, I don't want to take any more attention away from you guys. I, I just want to say thank you for the last and best 10 years of my life. Uh, I get to work with my best friends. I met my wife. I have two beautiful children because of this show. And, um, and, and none of it would be possible without every single person in this room, so thank you. Thank you.